Hello everyone. Today I will explain the dynamic curve function to you. This explanation is divided into four parts. The first part is a single channel curve display. The second part is the combining the description pointer for curve scanning and panning. The third part is multi-channel curve display. And the fourth part is a negative curve display and curve clearing. Now let's take a look at the actual demonstration effect of the single channel curve. We need to display the curve by sending commands. Here is the single channel curve display effect. Now let's make the demo. Here are the background images and icon material. First, open the latest software. Click New. Select 1024-768 resolution and select a file path. Then add the background images. Next, add the dynamic curve control. And set the relative parameters. The SP address is not explained in this part because it is a single channel curve. The SP address is not used temporarily, and the default is selected here. Y center is the center value of the Y axis of the curve control. When we move the mouse to the center of the Y axis, the value will be automatically read. Where the center value of the y axis is 331. VD center is the maximum minus the minimum of our parameters. See the T5L development guide. In this document, y center is the position of the center point of the y axis of the curve display frame. VD central refers to the half of the sum of the maximum and the minimum parameters. Here I generally choose a value of del row to 1000. So here is 500. The magnification of the vertical axis should be calculated according to the formula in the document. Ye minus ys is the y coordinate of the end point of the curve box minus the y coordinate of the start point. In fact, this data doesn't need to be calculated by ourselves. This value is the value of h, the height of the curve frame. Note that the calculate value must be rounded down. Now let's calculate. Multiply 369 by 256 and divide 1000, that is 94. So here is 94. The data source channel is a total of 8 channels from 0 to 7. The channel 0 is selected here. The space of axis x is the distance between two points. The smaller the distance, the tighter the distance. Here we set 10. The width of curve represents 1 pixel to 8 pixels, which is the thickness of the curve 9 width. Here we set 1. Then click Save and Generate. Then we need to generate the background image SL. Click D1 SL generator. Select the background image. Click generate SL. Save it in the D1 set folder and name it 32. Then we need to download the D1 set footer to the screen through SD card. 
power off and insert the SD card. Power on. When it is displayed, it means that the download is complete. Power off and unplug the SD card. And then power on. The interface has been shown. Now we need to display the curve through the command. Open the server port. Write the command to display the single channel curve. Click send. You can see that the curve has been displayed. Click to send regularly. Here is the single channel curve display effect. Let's understand the meaning of the command. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0D to indicate the data length. 82 is the write command. 0310 is the system variable interface to display the curve. 5AA5 here is to start a curve buffer data write operation. 0A is indicate that a curve channel is occupied. Double zero is for definition. Double zero here is means that number zero curve channel is used. Zero two means that there are two data length in total, which is four zero, zero three e eight. At this point, the explanation of single channel curve display is end. Thank you for watching.